Hello, my fellow Austro-Hungarians. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokolover, and let's continue our Hearts of Iron 4 campaign, playing as the greatest country in the world, Austria-Hungary. Hopefully someday it'll be just called Austria, or the League of Danubian Nations, led by Austria. Yeah, that title sounds very good. Anyway, so, let's continue. So, someone mentioned yesterday that I should probably try to annex in the peace conference Serbia. I'm totally okay with that. That seems like a pretty plausible thing for me to do. I'll annex Serbia once we're done here. And then, actually, well, Bulgaria actually is in the central powers. And to divide things up pretty fairly, I'll probably have to get, like, East Macedonia to Bulgaria, maybe. 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 But, of course, Romania will get Bessarabia. I can't really get Moldova because they're our allies, the Romanians are, so... I'm not really too inclined to take that. But! So, I'll get... I'll annex Serbia. Bulgaria will get East Macedonia, I'm thinking here. <clears throat> Someone wanted me to get Poland. But I'm thinking that the Germans are probably going to keep Poland. <clears throat> Excuse me. But with that in mind, it depends on how much I take and how much the Ru how much the Germans take as well. Because if I get enough territory, I want to have the Ukraine as a puppet state. I think that would be extremely interesting to see what would, what could happen if I took the Ukraine as a puppet state. It would be Austria-Hungary with the course Serbia annexed. Romania and then the Ukraine and maybe we could backstab Romania maybe in the future but at the time that is far in the future and that's just a pipe dream for now oh wow they're attacking with 10 divisions towards four, five and Trieste did that put any trenches? Eh, not too much what are we currently making? oh we're trying to repair a lot of things mostly because I need more factories oh my gosh yeah I need more of this stuff as much as I'd like to make more of that we have enough guns, we need more field guns, and we need more motorized. Uh, I guess we'll do that. And we're almost done with our dreadnought. Good. So, with that in mind, oh, we have our seven divisions up here helping to hold Luxembourg. I wanted to send those guys down to the Turks. Or something like that. At least, my goal, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know why I'm coughing so much, but we're clearing my throat. But, since I don't believe that we can re that the Ottomans can really hold in Asia, our goal will be to hold Constantinople, because they can lose all of Asia. But, if, it, if we keep Constantinople, I think we'll be okay. Ooh, and the Bulgarians are actually trying to beat up the Russian Navy. Good luck. What is wrong with your portrait, Admiral Dobrev? Holy crap, why do you have a black line? Are you 2B from near Automata? Okay then, guys. We've got a uh, robot as a general. Interesting. Very interesting. So I want you to attack. That's a bad idea, but they have lower supplies. I want you to help them out, and I want you to help them out as well. Hopefully we can get something done here. Oh, maybe not. They have seven divisions there now. Crud. Oh, right. So we've got an extra army group. Actually, we'll put you under here. I want you on the line over here. And you'll be led by Felix Sturm. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go very far. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. We knocked one division out already. It's going up slowly by numbers. Uh, yeah, these numbers, we got to keep an eye on them. Wow. These divisions, Italian divisions, aren't doing so well. French divisions, it looks like they're weakening their line or something. How's Luxembourg doing? Ah, uh, yes, though. The two-year-long battle for Luxembourg. I hope you guys are getting kind of defeated. Too much attrition. Too much bad stuff going on. Germany, how many men have you lost? Over a million. Jesus Christ, Germany. Uh, UK, France, quite a few actually. And of course the Russians. Oh, uh, it looks like the Germans are attacking across the entire front. Well, you know what, we'll help out this position just because it looks like it can be beat. God, Germany, why are you killing yourself? Please, your boys are very important. Actually, uh, let's get this so we can move a little bit faster. Right, so we got one horseman here in cavalry. I'm gonna wait for the next three. 
actually might be better to place them in Asia over here, because this is still technically Asia Minor, but Asia over here, because there's a lot more attacks going on here. Uh, well, I guess I'll just wait first for these other two divisions to arrive. Uh, let's see, where are we getting attacked? I think right here would be good. That guy seems kind of weak. Alright, women in the workforce now. We don't need those women in the workforce yet. We're trying to make one more military factory. Good. <clears throat> good, good, good. Oh, you're already over here. Actually, you get up there to start with. And you come over here as well. Oh, now we have one more, one whole more military factory. How great. Polish, Polnische Wehrmacht. Hmm, I don't really want Poland to be released. Infrastructure could be good. Better construction. Dockyard ex Yeah, I'll do dockyard expansions. I can't believe I haven't done that one yet. Because I need more ships. More uh, dockyards. Good. <clears throat> we're, still, we're still winning this battle, which is awesome. Did we take that territory? Yes, we did. Yes, we flippin' did. Uh, I don't really want to attack. But, you know, we might be able to encircle these guys down here. Probably not, but maybe. I mean, the Germans are literally killing themselves off with all their equipment and manpower. <clears throat> but it does seem like the same thing is happening to the Russians, which is good for me, at least. So we're going to attack two different spots at a time. Oh, Germany, you don't attack with two to three divisions, two to three divisions against 11. That's just suicidal, man. But attacking this is really good. Uh, take half of you guys. You help out. Yeah, that's not good. Good! And you were instantly defeated because you're tired. Now take those six divisions out, and then we can encircle these nine. And we... Oh, make sure we are good on all the other fronts. Yep. Still pretty good. It looks like the, yeah, the Germans are definitely running out of equipment. Because... They have more than enough manpower still. You guys are doing pretty well. Oh, you guys are getting attacked over here. Hmm. God, I wish you went with Defensive Doctrine instead. Brilliant Strategist. How do you get Brilliant Strategist? Oh, maybe that's just an in name. Maybe that's just an ability that the game starts with sometimes. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's go ahead. Since we won our battles... Uh, well, actually, first... We want to get rid of this group here. But we're getting attacked. These five divisions will have to perish. Four divisions. Maybe now it will be three divisions, and maybe... Two divisions and then a single division. Maybe. Yes. Good. Awesome. Let's go ahead and redeploy this line. Uh, yeah. I guess, you know what? All the way to the Hungarian front, actually. Yeah, we can have one massive front now. That'll actually be pretty good. So we got rid of one of our theaters, but that's alright. Is certainly all right with me, at least. Maybe not with you, but with me, it's okay. Let's see, Stoga, you are doing a phenomenal job. Well, some of you guys are veterans. Holy cow! Experience progress to next level. Ninety-five <clears throat> percent. Holy cow! Uh, winter expert. Cold acclimatization factor. I mean, it's not really cold. Some of these guys are. Oh, so many of my divisions are just veterans. Holy crap! I wish I could see how many men they killed. Oh, but if I try to click that, it's going to go black screen like at the end of the last episode, so I'm not going to do that. we are still got a little more time for that. We're out of field guns. We just need more field guns. <clears throat> yeah, that'll be better. Hopefully I can produce just a few more. And let's see, for this, we've got six battle six destroyers. Six full destroyers. Since I put my soldiers here, they've been able to hold the line a little bit better, which is good. And they'd have some, I guess, the German division to help out. 47. And this will definitely give this guy some more abilities. Alright. Oh, looks like the Japanese line. What the hell are you doing here? Alright, so for now, we're going to put you on this guy. Everyone's going to go here. Uh, actually, no, maybe not. You will come down here. And you will be the next army that reinforces, hopefully. The Ottomans. North, North Transylvania, I'm going to swatch you over to here. Swatch you over there. That'd be good. Uh, for you, you can kind of go on low. 
I'm going to have my other army here just in case against the Greeks. You never know when the Greeks might do something crazy. Especially not when they especially when they don't pay their debts. Uh, 13? Yeah, we might as well do that. That'll be good. So we have at least one division per province. Ah, yes. Very, very nice. Wow, we are getting heavily defeated. Well, not defeated, but just tired. I'm really surprised these guys aren't veterans yet, either. Yep, you are tired. You should just stay there, kind of get more organization first. Alright, that's good enough. You guys can go back in. Oh god, Germany, what are you doing? Why? Half a million casualties. Mostly done by the Germans, but at what cost? At what cost are you suffering? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd love to attack, but I don't want to attack suicidally. Yeah, you might as well try to attack there. Take all but one division to help out here. That actually might help turn the tide. It must be very tactical when you attack. Uh, since we have Romanian and German divisions defending, we can probably attack here for five divisions. Maybe. I hope so. Maybe not. Maybe we won't win this battle. I hope we will. But it doesn't look like we really will. Do they have forts or something? No? They have five divisions, though. Well, is there anywhere else we can maybe attack to draw the soldiers away? Oh, we've conquered a little bit more. Oh, we actually have Odessa. Awesome. We have Odessa in our military. Or under our control. Let's push these Russians back across the river if we can. I, maybe we can. But every attack we do does drain the enemy of their resources. But does drain us as well. So we're going to stop the attack. Come on, guys. You got this. These pesky Russians. Yeah, sometimes you have to force your hand. Uh, yeah, attack this province. Oh, that'll definitely win there. Seven, that's just a few too many. Italian front, Jesus Christ. The Italian front is just absolutely insane. Ooh, a Varus Diner class. Varus Diner class, 1915, guys. And all I'm going to do is battleships and destroyers. Not really subs. I'm not really interested in subs very much. Wow, there's a lot of, a lot of different ships here. Destroyer 10? Oh. Huh. I think for naval. Oh, we could do some naval doctrine stuff, but let's see what else we could use first. Nothing there. Better recon could be good since I use a lot of it. Armor, maybe. Artillery, land doctrine, we're still doing. How about engineering? No, it's 1916 stuff. We could get. Eh, let's get some additional tech, tank technologies. I don't want to produce old, old outdated stuff. <clears throat> so far, so good. For the love of God, nine divisions. Come on, guys. Ah, oh, I don't think we're going to win this one. Ah, oh, so bad. Thought we could do well, but that's why I left that one division there attacking. Oh my god, Germany. You're really going to get us killed, aren't you? How are we not winning here? This makes no sense. Oh, Romania, could you help attack? Should the 1916 Olympic Games be cancelled? Pierre de Coubertin expresses feelings concerning the 1916 Berlin Games in a letter to the Associated Press, echoing the sentiments of that of many that the 1916 Olympic Games may be an impractical, impractical, impossible event. Though many U.S. cities have offered to host the Games instead, the International Olympic Committee must abide by its own rules and keep the site in Berlin. Perhaps there will be no, simply no Games this year. Alright, all right, so uh, I really need to improve my land auction because we're not doing that well anymore. Oh, sounds like we're getting navally invaded, maybe, somewhere? I don't know, maybe. I'm waiting for this guy to get, level up. If you. Yeah, that's why I keep looking back on him, for him to get some new trait. Something to say, wow, he's great. Oh, he's becoming a mountaineer, which is good. <clears throat> you need you need someone here. Yeah, you definitely need someone here. Uh, ooh, media personality sucks, but he's a better attacker. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Get that in there. Oh, aggressive assaulter. <sighs> yeah, you're defending so much. We're winning on the defense. Increased chance of executing attack and shock tactics. Oh, I want defensive doctrine. But I really like this. Unyielding defenders are actually really, really good. Inflexible strategist. Well, they're never going to get that, so when we have this, you might as well take it. I want to get defensive doctrine, though, as well, sometime. Good. Good, guys. Or This is probably one of the strongest defensive armies in the world right now. Holy crap, look at this cavalry division. They've nearly killed themselves. I guess there's only three battalions, but still. Uh, so we have eight destroyers. Good. Yeah, 
All right, well, that's interesting. Six divisions. Germany is really going to just keep wailing themselves against the line. It's not good for them. Uh, let's extend this. That'll be good. Well, right on ahead, guys. I mean, I'm still holding the line, so... No problemo. We have 999 XP. Oh, and, oh, if we can't attack and win here, I'm going to be so disappointed in my guys. Like, seriously, there's only three divisions. They're not even fully strength. We should be able to get that done. Come on, guys. Oh, they're trying to add another British division over there. Come on. Can I boost you? Oh, I can't really boost you up. Oh, maybe I can boost you up. It cost me 15 command power. That's not, so that's not too bad. Yeah. There's four divisions. Oh, sounds like we're getting invaded in the Western Balkans. Oh. Don't really want to pull any divisions away. There's ten divisions invading, but they're not super strong. Um, we can probably pew one more out just in case. Just to cover every, all of the bases. Oh, alright, we won that one. Good. What do we need? We're still pretty good on guns. We need more artillery. We just need a ton of artillery. I'll do that, but I'm not going to go any lower for that one. Alright. God. It's just insane, these cavalry. <clears throat> one of our divisions is actually a veteran division. Awesome. Uh, we are constantly getting attacked here in the mountains as well. Oh, they're attacking across the river? Oh, yeah, that's great. That's great. We don't get time to reorganize, though. And we might be able to make an actual plane. Huh. An actual scout plane. But let's go with... Maybe something with naval doctrine instead. Just because I have my navy, I really want to use it. Oh, that's really crappy. Only sub benefits. Just because the English and the French, I guess the British and the French, they're mostly focused on the English Channel, trying to kill off the German Navy, which is fine with me. Just don't kill my ships. So, that's, that's something. Oh, yay, dockyard expansion. We got two more naval dockyard guys. We could get two more. Oh, two more naval dockyards. So, for this focus, after 1916, you can do it. <clears throat> Requires one of the following airfield expansion 3, construction effort 3, armament effort 3, or dockyard expansion 3. So one of these three. Right now, this one requires infrastructure as well as dockyard expansion 2. This one requires infrastructure level 3 first. So we can do infrastructure, then armament, and then the extra research slot. I like that because in 1916, we'll have a lot of new techs that I will not be able to get done quickly, I guess. It will fit like that. There's just so much in there. So, uh, we've done, I've read this last time. Wall of Lead, meant to fight that extends seemingly forever. So we get more breakthrough, which is good, and more soft attacks. So we can do more damage to the infantry. So now, land night attack with many recent developments in offensive doctrine. We must not forget our defensive doctrines as well. Deep defense, also known as defense in depth, <clears throat> is a technique that turns a frontline trench into an entire system with fallback lines, escape routes, and plentiful reserves allowing us to ensure that any enemy who wants to make a long-term attack to knock our troops out of the area will pay dearly for it. Wait, defense and depth, but we get more land knight attack. Uh, it does not compute. Whatever. Oh, these guys are getting pretty darn weak. Yeah, we might as well push up as well. Help the Germans out there. Good. Slowly making advances. It looks like the Germans have almost made a pocket here. Uh, maybe some sort of, like, Corlin pocket? The top of pocket? That would be very, very interesting. Oh, looks like we're getting attacked here. What? Where are my soldiers? Why are you... What is this pathfinding? What the heck? Why'd you leave this open? We can't afford this to be open. I need you to come here. Okay, maybe not. Okay. That was close. You, do you have any upgrades? You're, you're trying to get become a better infantry leader and organizer. Sure, level 2. Not bad, not bad. Good. Still nothing. No, still no upgrades, which is unfortunate. All right, so uh, can we like strike here? Uh, actually, you guys stay there. Sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one. Yep. Oh yeah. Use that one remaining division to keep those guys occupied. Seventy-two. We might win. We might win. I'm not going to be sound. I'm not going to obviously sound too confident because we. I've said that before, but we might win there. Oh, Germany, please stop attacking like crazy. I mean, you're like the Italians of the Central Powers. 
For the love of God, look at all this red. And look at down here. I'm not giving up really any territory. Yet, we're defending very well, even though we're extremely tired. Holy crap. Holy cow. So, I mean, this guy knows what he's doing. Level 6. He's level 6 right now. Oh my gosh. How about you? you Our field marshal? You're an aggressive assaulter. Yeah. Okay, I can't believe I put that there. Uh, let's see. We're getting invaded? Oh, yeah, we're trying to get invaded. We're supposedly getting invaded again. But these level two guys, these two, di two divisions should be okay. I really want to send my navy out to try to kill any convoys, but that's probably not a good idea. Uh, six? Actually, we might be able to do well here. There's only four divisions. Maybe we can do well, maybe we can't. We seem like we're winning this battle. There's only five divisions now. Our guys are, of course, getting a little weaker. But we went up to 85. Maybe it'll go up to 86. 87? Oh, 80? 81? Hmm. Definitely have to wait and see. 32 ships. Happy 1916, everyone. I do not know if you noticed, but it is currently 1916. It's going to be the second year in which we are still fighting this bloody, terrible war. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys get up there. If I can... Yeah, I can't really put any more things down. Maybe keels, actually. Yeah, I'm glad I put more max infrastructure over there. That'll be good. God. So much death and destruction. Ooh. So we've got three more months. Three more months until we can get our next ship. Oh my god, the Portuguese have invaded. Ugh. That's not good. That's really not good. Um, you know what? Some of you guys off. Just let me get rid of these guys. I'm glad I have this backup army just in case. My reserve army. Oh, actually, Bulgaria. Uh, you know what? Sure, we'll take we'll take your divisions since you offered them take both, but I'm going to add them to the cavalry army. Why am I going to add them to the cavalry army? Well, wait, why is... Oh, yeah, you're the general we just took stuff from that took out Serbia. Thankfully. We're going to add it to the cavalry army because these guys could probably use a little bit of help in Asia. So that'll be kind of nice. And I don't really have to report for them losing men. A lot of men that we might end up losing. Uh, let's see, anywhere else... Ah, uh, the Germans are definitely attacking. Wow, 26 divisions, 27? Holy cow. Germany, you've lost over 2 million. Oh my god. I've lost only 200,000, so that's not too bad. The Russians have, the French have lost over a million. The Russians have lost almost 900,000, and the Brits have lost almost 800,000. I'm doing very, very well in the war compared to everyone else. Uh, how many divisions? Five, there's six, oh, six divisions. That might be too many for us to attack, but they're kind of weak. Hmm, five, three, ooh. What about 8 versus 3? That might be good. I'm glad I went with that one land doctrine that makes you have more attack or soft attack or something. I forget exactly. But that's kind of nice to have. Just keep attacking, guys. Keep attacking. And you keep repairing. Uh, we need to repair those roads. Switzerland, yeah. You have to get up to the top. Just because we need as much supplies as we can get in here as possible. Oh, we have trying to repair our trenches, which is good. Oh my god, Germany, you're attacking way too hard. A new ruler for Egypt, Hussein Kamel, has been declared Sultan of Egypt. The British forces to dispose his nephew, Kevda Abbas Ilmi II. The newly created Sultanate of Egypt was declared a British protectorate. This event firmly ended sovereign rule or Ottoman sovereignty over Egypt. Well, I mean, you were kind of an enemy anyway, so it didn't really matter. Uh, oh, good. You're back. You're done. Uh, okay, so what we really need to do <clears throat> is to really kick Russia out of the Black Sea. Is this the Black Sea? I think this is the Black Sea here. Because that's the Baltic Sea up here, and the Barents is like over here, I think. So the Black Sea here. We really need to kick Russia out of here. That would be our main goal. 
Let's see, is there anywhere that could help attack? I mean, here is probably a pretty good place to help. Good. So far, so good. Wow, there's 18 divisions here. Holy cow. Why are you attacking over a river, Germany? That's never a good idea. Uh, take all but one. Help attack. Push them out. Seven divisions. Seven against eleven. It's not great. It's probably really bad. But I, yeah, I don't. I doubt we'll win here. Yeah. I know what's going up though? Since I pressed the force attack button. Maybe we'll win here. Maybe we won't. Oh, do you have an upgrade, sir? No, not really. You could become a guerrilla fighter, but that's pretty much it. Boy, this, this war is going crazy. Oh, well, I thought the battle for this city ended, or this country, this small little Luxembourg spot. But I guess not. The French, the French are just going to continue killing their boys off. So the French have three quarters of a million manpower. Uh, the British, they went with extensive conscription. And they have one and a half million. The Portuguese have half a million. The Germans are at a little less than four. I'm at three and a half. The Russians are at about two-ish. The Turks or Ottomans are at 300,000. Wow, that's pretty bad. Bulgaria's at 120. Romania's at 364. All right, just kind of giving an idea of where all these guys are at. British India, or Raj, is 10 million. Japan has over 3 million. How much, what's America doing? They are very divided with 9 million manpower. Wow. Uh, actually, take half of you. Come up here. Oh god, yeah, we really need to kick Russia out of this area. Well, that can be, like, nearly impossible. Come on, guys. Finish up these battles. Almost done with that next dreadnought, too. Ooh, infrastructure 3. Armament effort 3, of course, will be next. God, the supply situation here is so bad. I guess we'll maybe try to repair it or build it up just so that we can actually use something here. Uh, war bonds. Oh, we still have a lot of those. Uh, how many guns we got? We got 12. Uh, I don't want to lower this too much more, but... That should help our artillery supplies. Hopefully. Oh, are we losing this battle? Probably, but not really. 35. Come on, any more destroyers? Oh, we can actually get... Uh, let's get better destroyers ahead for now. Uh, let's see. Three. We'll do that. We'll do that. Anti-air. We don't really have too much air problems. Speed is good. Depth charges. Can I max this out? Oh my gosh. I get better anti-submarine warfare. Mm. Let's give him this to give him more evasion. I like the evasion statistic for this. Oh, that's, that'll definitely help. Anti-air. And better against subs. But we need a little bit more XP for me to do that first. But I need to be in a battle first. Um, well, maybe not. Okay, let's just, do, let's just change that up. Let's for five. Alright, so we want max that. Max torpedoes. That looks good enough. Yeah, do that. So you'll be have extremely good... Or the best type of those types of destroyers. God, the, back, the front here has just become kind of stale. There's not really much going on. The battles have kind of wound down into not very much. Of course, it is kind of cold out. It is March. Can't really blame them too much. It's about two, two degrees Celsius. So it's kind of cold. I don't want to attack 24 divisions in a single province. That's a little crazy. But what I can do is reorganize our line. Because 18 divisions over here, that's quite a few. Uh, wow, you guys are moving pretty quick, pretty quick. Look at these split, pretty quick. Good. Since I've moved these two Bulgarian divisions over here, this province has not been attacked very much. Italy just... One full stack of 24 guys is enough to hold off the entire Italian and combined British-French armies. Now they're going to be even be tougher with even more max entrenchment. Ah, uh, you know what? Whatever hole that's not been blown open, dig it deeper, guys. Just dig it deeper. And oh, come on, we're so close. On March 24th, we will have our next ship. Oh, are we getting invaded? 
We're always getting invaded, let's be real. Uh, how close are we? Oh, you know, I'm gonna wait. Once it's March 24th, I'm gonna use this Dreadnought and see if I can scout out and see if I can find anything to blow up in the waters. Look, look at all these convoys, they keep coming back. It's always the same ones as well. And now the game is crawling to a slow speed because of uh, probably all the divisions that are being made. Ten divisions is a lot of divisions. Six divisions are still there. The Germans do seem like they're pushing. They are slowly pushing. We just took this province because of the Germans. Very nice. Hmm. Let's reorganize this. Oh, looks like the Russians invaded Odessa. They really like Odessa. Or close to Odessa. But not quite Odessa. Let's see, are you guys reorganizing yourselves? Because I can't see a lot of... Oh, your division's really oddly spread out. Actually, since you have so many divisions here, you might as well try to push these guys out. That might actually be okay. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Three cavalry are still getting just destroyed while defending. And the Italian division place is doing okay. Alright, so, it's already past March 24th. Let's get some Dreadnought upgrades. <clears throat> Maybe one, if we can. Dreadnought three. Uh, let's get more armor. Can you get two? No. Yeah, I can just get one thing more armor. We'll lose a little bit of invasion, but that's okay. Maybe a little bit less speed. That's a... Eh, whatever. That's okay. So take another year to produce another one of these. Can we please kill some convoys here? Alright. Wait, what? I thought we just found something. Please don't get my ships destroyed. We have 15 capital ships and 13 destroyers. Well, I guess technically we have 18 because of heavy, heavy cruisers as well. I want to end this episode with something good, with a, like a little boom in the, in the water. A little boom in the water, please. Come well, on, there's... Don't let them add more divisions in. Then again, that does help the rest of the front out because they're trying to pull more divisions into this one area. Which makes everything else just a tad weaker. How many divisions is that? That's... There's still quite a few. Seven over here, but... Uh, you don't move. But since we can attack from four sides into this sixth division... Oh! Good job, Germans! Yeah. I mean, the Germans are really just killing themselves on the line, but that's kind of helping us out. Maybe Germany would be so weak eventually. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, no! We lost eight of those destroyers! But... Hopefully, the Germans will make themselves so weak that maybe we could become the dominant power in Europe. Now, I will end the episode once this battle is over. Please, don't lose any more destroyers. I've already made enough for all of our past mistakes. Please. I don't want to lose any more. Ooh, fighter detection. Ooh, max, max factories in a state. Output. Supply consumption. Construction speed. Oh my god, I love this one. Oh my gosh, construction speed as well. Engineering, re oh, better research times, though. Better research times. 1% isn't much, but I'll take it. Alright, so with the Japanese Navy here, 12 battleships versus my 15. Yeah, I'm going to lose a few more ships, but they're going to lose quite a few of their own ships as well. 9. 14, come on. Just keep blowing those ships up. We've sunk, so far, 12 Japanese battleships. Oh my gosh, so, uh, you guys did great and all, but hell, go home. Just go home. High repair rate. So, we've lost quite a few ships, but we did extremely well. I'm going to pause it right here. So, let's dictate this guy to go to the Russian front, since... Oh wait, I wanted you to come down to the Ottomans. But the Ottomans are holding out actually pretty, pretty darn well at this point. It's really the Russian front that's really a big concern of ours. Uh, sure, scouts, yeah. Early fighters, whatever. So let's take a quick look at this battle and then we'll end it. So, what happened? We lost, ooh, pre Dreadnought 1 battleship. We sunk 14 enemy battleships. Oh my gosh. Sunk 13 Japanese destroyers, 2 Japanese heavy cruisers, and 9 Italian and Japanese light cruisers. Wow. Every time we make more destroyers, they always get blown the hell up. Uh, let's see. Who is the king of the fleet? I can't wait for Man the Guns because Man the Guns. Yeah, I think you could make, like, one ship, like, the prize possession of your fleet or something. And one of these guys, 25 ships killed! 27! Like, this would be the pride of the fleet. This, this Dreadnought right here? This, this Dreadnought 2? Oh my 
gosh. History. Look at all these Italian boys that are sunk because of this guy. Oh, and some Portuguese boys. And some Japanese boys. God, I am a multicultural man that would just take no man as prisoner. Ooh, that's awesome, though. Thank you guys very much for watching. We've got to end it here. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave Actually, leave a like for all those German guys that have died for our glory. Subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue to slowly push into Russia and try to rebuild our navy to blow up and kill any more Italian boys in the water. Thank you very much for watching, guys.